Hi guys, I'm back today to record a very important video based on identifying male privacy protection users or Apple users who have this feature enabled in your database and how to make sure that you're not sending to unengaged people who have this setting enabled. So just to give you a quick background, unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know by now that since Apple released this new feature, it essentially gives Apple users the option to prevent tracking pixels, which are used to detect opens by ESPs. So obviously this has implications for your segmentation strategy. If you're sending to people using opens to identify whether they're engaged, then theoretically, if you continuously send to Apple users who have false opens, then you could be damaging your sender reputation and overall deliverability of the account. So there's a few things to consider here. The first thing we're going to do in this video is identify within your database how many Apple users there are that have this male privacy protection enabled. Then we're going to identify how many people who have male privacy protection are unengaged on your database. And then I'm going to show you how to update a general engagement segment on a very high level to remove people who are unengaged, who are male privacy protection users, and just make sure that you're not harming your deliverability. Okay, so a few things to consider. Let me just close my face off, put it down here. First thing, we're going to work off a single source of truth with one database or list. I've covered this multiple times, it's very important. And you'll see why once I start to segment the database down, this is so important. So I'm using my own personal newsletter here for this example, you can see I've got a newsletter list, 895 people on it. So this should give you some context into how it breaks down. The first thing you want to do is identify the male privacy protection users. So if we come into here, we're going to create a segment called male privacy protection equals true. And the way we're going to do this is by identifying when someone has opened an email at least once over all time. And then we're going to add this filter here that Clavios gave us where male privacy protect privacy open equals true. And then you're going to update the segments and you'll see here it gives us 202 members. So that's basically a roughly a quarter of the database have this setting enabled. Uh, bear that in mind when you're sending to people that is a significant chunk of people in your database. It's probably even higher for others. So we've already identified a quarter roughly of the database has this enabled. The next thing we're going to want to do is identify how many people who have this enabled or unengaged. And the way we're going to do that is by creating another segment, male privacy protection equals true and unengaged. So then we're going to say when someone has opened an email at least once in the last 30 days, because we're creating a segment here of people who we would usually send to and just making sure that we're not sending to unengaged people who have this feature enabled. And obviously, if you're sending to 60 days, 90 days engaged segments, you'll just vary the settings accordingly. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just using 30 days as the engagement period for this example video. So when someone has opened an email at least once in the last 30 days, and we've identified that they're using the Apple uh, device with this setting enabled, true. So, oops, let me just add that back again. So the first thing that's going to do is identify anyone who may possibly have a false open. The next condition you're going to want to add is when someone has opened an email zero times in the last 30 days where Apple privacy open equals false. So people who haven't got, you aren't using this device with this setting enabled, that will then filter them out. And when someone has clicked an email zero times in the last 30 days. So this accounts for permutations where they're using an Apple device. They may have a false open, but they've never clicked the email. And then you're going to want to click update segments. So that's how you detect whether someone is an Apple privacy protection user with the feature enabled, but they're not engaged without pulling in 
people who are using other devices who haven't got this feature enabled. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to pull it all together. So then let's say, for example, you are sending to an engaged email segment of 30 days. It's actually quite simple on how to do this. And the permutation that you're going to want to include is basically clicks to account for Apple users who are engaged. So you're probably going to want to expand the time frame here, but again, I'm just using 30 days for the sake of simplicity in this video. So engage the email segment, 30 days, when someone has opened an email at least once in the last 30 days, where Apple privacy open equals false. And then we can also include if someone has clicked an email at least once in the last 30 days. So if they are an Apple mail user and they've opened an email, we won't know whether they have or not because obviously it's it, it becomes distorted with this. But as long as they've clicked an email, they'll still be included in the engage segment. Now, obviously this does have some uh, potential pitfalls because essentially you can be an Apple privacy open user who's opening emails but not necessarily clicking them and this would theoretically exclude you. Ways around this, obviously you can use different metrics like active on site. So you can add, or so, sorry, rather, or in the condition active on site, or you can just expand these engaged tiers to 90 days. So theoretically, if someone has been on your database and not clicked an email in 90 days, then it's theoretically highly likely that they're quite unengaged. Other metrics that you can bring into the equation, into the equation may include purchase history, so transactional, whether they've purchased from you in the last 30 days or so. But I think if you're going to use settings outside of what you can track in email, especially on clicks, you should keep the time frames quite narrow because there is a lot of users, if we're honest, who don't engage with email, but just because they've purchased from you doesn't mean we should just still email them anyway because this can still harm or send a reputation. So hopefully that helps. Just to recap the steps. One, have a single source of truth because it makes segmenting much easier. Second thing you're going to want to do is identify the mail privacy protection users. Create an unengaged mail privacy protection segment. And then finally, create a new segment based on a time frame that you normally send to that doesn't include people who have false opens and this is how you do that. I will create an article around this as well just to simplify things to recap the steps. There is additional permutations and conditions you can include in this final engage segment. How you determine them is entirely up to you but generally speaking they're going to include whether someone's active on site within a time frame or whether they have purchased within a time frame. Hopefully this helps. Any questions, feel free to drop them below the video.